Bengal has become the fourth state now to adopt an Anti-Citizenship Amendment Act resolution. Mamta Banerjee uh, um, speaking in the, the West Bengal Assembly just a short while earlier um, to, spelled out all the reasons why uh, sh her government was uh, taking on this move. Monilipa Banerjee joining us uh, at this point with more details. Mamta, it seems, said she was forced to pass uh, uh, this resolution against the Citizenship Amendment Act because it was against uh, the people. And uh, so Bengal now follows three other states uh, in, in passing this. This, of course, a day after... Bengal BJP President Dilip Ghosh uh, said all refugees will be given citizenship under the Citizenship Amendment Act as party leader Rahul Sinha stoked a controversy by alleging that those protesting at Park Circus uh, and Shaheen Bagh in Delhi were Bangladeshi Muslims. And uh, they've even alleged that Trinamool workers are intimidating people not to participate in the National Register of Citizens when it comes. Monitipa Banerjee joining us at this point. Monitipa, there's been so much uh, sort of political uh, back and forth on this, uh, but now Bengal adopting that Anti-Citizenship Amendment uh, Act resolution. What is it that uh, the Chief Minister said in the Assembly? So, a very, very impassioned speech, almost 40 minutes long in the State Assembly. Uh, where she completely uh, you know, dismissed uh, some of the uh, issues raised by the opposition in the assembly. The opposition regretted that the uh, Western Wall was not uh, the first state to pass the regulation against the APA. They regretted that Nanta Banerjee had rejected the opposition resolution brought from the 9th of January. Nanta Banerjee completely dismissed that charge, saying the Western Wall was the first state giving a resolution against NIC and CAD back in September. So a very strong rebuttal. A very strong rebuttal of all the criticism that came her way about how uh, West Bengal, instead of becoming at least the second state to go and file a resolution against CAA, is now the fourth. Immediately after the Kerala chief minister had filed his resolution in the assembly there, uh, there had been proposals from the opposition here that Mamta Banerjee should also uh, push through a resolution. Uh, that had not happened at that time, so today West Bengal is the fourth state. Mamta Banerjee completely dismissing that charge. That part, she condemned the CAA as, besides everything else, as being anti-people. She said it has completely devastated and is setting fire to different parts of the country with people uh, completely harassed, completely anxious and terrorized by this act and also along with that the NRC and NPR uh, possibility and she said this is just completely anti-people. She uh, said the only way out of this is to scrap the act and also completely withdraw NRC and NPR. She also took pot shots of course at the BJP which is hoping to make a breakthrough in Bengal with NRC and NPR. Uh, she uh, said that the BJP is holding Abhinandan rallies in West Bengal. What Abhinandan is this? Uh, I'm telling you that they are not Abhinandan rallies, they are Bisharjun rallies. Bisharjun, of course, being immersion and therefore the end of the BJP, she said, is in sight. Uh, almost all the leaders, uh, the opposition leaders who spoke, uh, you know, raised the issue of uh, the fact that she had rejected uh, the CAA resolution, anti-CAA resolution on the 9th, but Mamta Banerjee putting up a very, very strong fight back, uh, urging people to go out among people, go from house to house, assure people no NRC, no NPR, and no CAA in Bengal. A nearly 40-minute speech, uh, Mamta Banerjee's style, extremely strong, extremely aggressive, and extremely determined that if necessary, Bengal will go alone. She reminded the opposition and the House that many states, in fact all states, had gone to the meeting on NPR recently called by the Ministry of Home Affairs, but Bengal had not. And that, she said, should prove that there is no space for NPR in Bengal. 
Uh, we are waiting to hear what Mr. Dilip Ghosh up in North Bengal has to say. He has been speaking at Malda and we are expecting strong comments from him. There are a couple of BJP MLAs inside the house and they of course uh, congratulated the Prime Minister for passing CAA. Uh, that led to a kind of uproar inside the assembly and for a while nothing at all could be heard but they were shouted down. The resolution has been passed by voice vote.